Hi, she is seven. I'm back. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, attracting certain types of men. Okay, a lot of women get stuck with this issue. Okay, they have a consciousness or they believe in certain things, and you know they present themselves a certain way, and then they ask themselves, well, why only certain types of guys are attracted to me or approach me? Well, the problem is. There are some women who are very conscious and, you know, they wear their hair a certain way, they dress a certain way, they don't go to certain places, they avoid certain places, and they tend to meet the same types of guys over and over. Well, men who are very high up in their careers, men who have lots of money, men who are financially stable and, you know, have maybe their own business or something like that, that very successful their view of the world is a little bit different than you know some people that may be more conscious or aware of you know things so their view is going to be different okay so first off you're going to have to either like if you want these types of guys to approach you you're going to have to fit the description of what they find attractive Okay, you're going to have to fit the description of what they find acceptable, you know, so um, I know this is a, a little bit hard to hear for some women because they feel like, oh, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and the right person's going to come. But then when you meet someone and they're not willing to, you know, meet your standards, you have to ask yourself, well, what am I attracting and why am I attracting these type of people, you know? Even if you have to change your look a little bit to get the type of life that you want, doesn't mean you have to change your consciousness, okay? You can still believe in the same stuff, feel the same way about certain things, but in order to get, you know, catch a certain type of fish, you need a certain type of bait. You can't go fishing for certain types of fish with the wrong bait, okay? And this has happened a lot. And I have women writing me all the time, how come this person or this type of person only is attracted to me? Um, well, and then you need to change your outward appearance to attract certain types of people. Certain types of men are only or, you know, more likely to be attracted to certain women that look a certain way, okay? It doesn't have to be, you know, anything as far as her physical form or her physical look. It it has to do with how she dresses, how she wears her hair, you know, how she um, carries herself, um, you know, the type of clothes she wears and stuff like that. So you have to be aware of that, you know? If you're after someone who makes a lot of money in the corporate world and, you know, they're neat they're gonna have to be able to introduce you to their colleagues or friends and you can't be looking a certain type of way because you won't fit in to their you know circle so you have to remember that if you're looking at yourself and you don't look like you belong with this certain type of person or people either you have to you know give yourself a makeover put something in your closet that you can pull out when you go to hang out with these type of people or if you want to meet this type of person you pull that outfit out, you put it on and, you know, do your hair a certain way. And those type of people are going to, you know, be attracted to you. Now, if you're going for a different type of person, you have a different outfit, a different look, do your hair a different way, do your makeup a different way. And that's the kind of person you're going to attract looking like that. Okay. Women have all types of looks. We can attract different types of men with different types of looks that we can create. You know, if I want some crazy, um, you know, person I would dress crazy you know, I would dress to draw attention and that was going to draw the attention of crazy people and they will come to me and they were like oh my god you're so different and I like it and they'll you know so and if you want to attract someone who's you know conservative and blah 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 you would dress that part now a lot of women don't think about this before they go out they don't think about what type of man do I want to attract to me today they just put on something that look thinks you know, that they think looks sexy or that's going to get attention of all men. But you got to think about what type of men do you really want? So, you know, you can't wear this and want to get, you know, this classy conservative guy. 
you know, if you dress like this, you might get the attention of someone else that's not too classy, you know? So you have to kind of understand what you're going for, you know? And also the environment that you choose to go out in, you know, some people aren't even gonna be there that you are looking for. They're not gonna be in these places. So you have to think about that. Um, a good place to kind of look at all types of people is like a really nice shopping center or a really nice mall maybe a galleria or something like that i've been to i went to the gallery this weekend and you can see all types of people you see the you see the people who can afford you know the very high-end clothing you see the people who can't who just come to look and shop at the regular stores you see how they act you see how they dress you see what they wear you see how they walk you know, just go people watch one day. Look how certain people act and walk and you'll understand what they're attracted to. You might even catch them looking at certain women and not even looking at other women. So you have to understand, uh, I think research is very important when you're trying to, you know, find someone and know what they're attracted to. I mean, you gotta research. This is like a real job, you guys. This is not like, oh, well, I hope I find somebody. You gotta actually do research. You gotta see what they like. You have to sit back and people watch, you know? Um, I, I watch people, even when I'm not really trying to accomplish anything, I just, it's a habit. So I was watching this guy the other day at the mall and you could tell he had money. Um, I was just watching him and the way he talked to people, it was like, it, it's just so refreshing to see how certain people talk to people when they're very sure and confident of themselves and just like have everything they ever wanted versus someone who's insecure, lacking, and you know, is still trying to get to a certain point in life. They speak to people very differently, okay? It's, it's almost like night and day, okay? So this guy was talking to the saleswoman and even though she was not the most beautiful woman in the world, in fact, she was not even up there, she wasn't even above a five, but the way that he talked to her, the way that he talked to her made her feel like she was the most beautiful girl in the world. And he wasn't trying to flirt or get a good deal or anything because he had money. But the reason he could talk to her like this and give her you know, eye contact and respect as a human being it's because he had nothing to lose nor gain from being polite to someone, you know, that was working and trying to help him purchase some expensive item, you know. Um, and they weren't impatient because they had all the time in the world, obviously. And you could just tell that they were very confident and sure of themselves by the way they just carried and spoke to, like, people, you know. And it was very nice. Um, now you have some people who are rude of course there's going to be wealthy people that's rude all day long but most of the time you know they understand that you know there's no reason for a lot of people to be upset in the world when they have everything so they're going to treat you accordingly they're going to give you eye contact they're going to speak with confidence you know so you have to also be the same way when you approach or when someone approaches you and they ask you your name and you look, you have to look them in the eye and you have to have that confidence. Like we're, we're equals. Okay. I'm not your lesser. We're equals. You know, if you're looking down and like, Oh, my name is, this, and, you know, and, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, okay. Now, if I introduce her to my friend, she's like, she's so insecure. They're going to, you know, no, it's not going to work. So you have to have that, you know, you have to have that quality about you to attract people who are like that as well you know what I mean so uh, and I was I was walking another time I was walking next to this really expensive store and I'm just walking and I'm about to open the door this guy walks by real fast he says oh no it doesn't open to 12 darling and he just keeps walking and um, obviously he knew what time it opened because he shopped there all the time and I'm like <laughs> okay um, <laughs> you know it's just you surround yourself in a, in a certain environment with certain types of people they're going they're going to communicate with you they're going to speak to you they're going you're in that you're in their vicinity so unless you know you got some you know crazy disfigurement 
they, people are going to speak to other people that are around them. That's just logic and mathematics. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to meet certain types of people, you have to get in that area. You have to get in that environment. You have to study them, how they work, how they talk, what they like, what they don't like. You have to watch, okay? And I think it's it's also a learning experience. You know, I take my kids and we walk around and they see how certain people act, how certain kids act, how this person acts, how this person acts. And then we'll go to another place and they'll be acting all crazy and, you know, just a hundred and, you know, 80 degree difference. And they'll gravitate towards this kind of place or the nicer place. They don't want to go back to that other place. They're like, mm-mm. You know they like it and they're gonna be used to that so when they grow up they're not going to settle for less they're not gonna say this is okay they're gonna say no I won't go here you know so they're not gonna be easily satisfied they're gonna be picky which is good because they're that means they won't settle for anything less than their parents can provide which is a good thing if you're settling for anything less than your parents could could provide then you're kind of going backwards and they worked for you for nothing they've gotten you to a certain level for nothing for you to go backwards okay so remember that as well and as far as for guys you know i know a lot of guys hate you know hearing women talk about how uh status money and power is important but that's just facts okay it's it's really facts there there are going to be some women who don't mind working and stuff like that but i have i'm going to put this clip up here and it's from a friend it's, it's a man and he said that he can't believe that some women actually pay for stuff for their men or work and contribute money to their men. It makes their men feel like less than a man and it's really looked down upon. I'm going to put that clip somewhere over here. Uh, so I think even if you have to work and you're contributing to your household, I don't say anything bad against you. That's the way that America has created... Um, they're people to think and there's nothing wrong with if that's how you live i'm just saying that is not in the correct order that it should be in even though it works it's just the man cannot get the amount of respect that he desires from a woman who is working and giving him money and the woman who's working and giving the man money does not feel as secure, protected, and cared for by that man that she could be feeling. Do you know what I understand? Um, so even though it works, it does not mean that you're getting the full benefits of having a man in your life or having the woman in your life. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting the full benefits that are supposed to occur between woman and man. Okay, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, all you're getting is like help from a roommate and basically, you know, intimacy. You're not getting the full on feeling of being protected and secured by this masculine man. And men are not getting the full, uh, you know, experience of being nurtured, loved and cared for by a feminine woman. You know, they're not getting that because they're taking on each other's roles as far as, you know, work and, you know, contributing and stuff like that. It could be better. Let's just say that. Okay. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to get mad about that, but honestly, if you don't have to work, why would you, you know, if your spouse made enough money to where you never had to work again, why would you work? You know, it wouldn't make sense unless you wanted to. And if you wanted to, then, you know, you're probably not going to have kids as early or as many as you would have had not, you know, working. So you're going to have to make some type of sacrifice there with time as well as, you know, children and stuff like that. So it's all up to you. But, you know, I'm just saying if you look at, you know, certain aspects of people some like it some don't and it's all up to you i'm not saying do this or do that all i'm saying is do what you want to do and don't be forced to settle for something that you don't agree with like i don't agree with that i have to work so you know if i do work it's online at home but i don't agree that i need to go outside the house and work okay so that's the type of person that i married who also you know was okay with that 
So let's keep in mind that we need to be um, trying to find people that are on the same you know, level of thinking as far as what we want in marriage or what we want in a relationship, okay? So thank you guys so much. I know it's look rambly at the end, but you get my point. All right, I'll see y'all. Bye.